Hello everyone, this is Vintage Farland Guy. Happy Farland Friday, or I guess you could say System Test Saturday. Ooh, what's this? Yep, I have, I finally now have a panel. Well, I might not be keeping this panel for too long because I'm planning on getting the Simplex panel or something different, so. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> welcome to System Test 1, my very, very first system test. So, yep. Yep, here's, here's the system. So, <clears throat> sorry I have not been uploading lately or haven't uploaded in the last few months. It was due to this whole coronavirus thing and, you know, my family's been stranded at home for the last few months. You know, and everyone's been laid off at work because of this whole quarantine pandemic. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. So, yeah. So, but anyway, I'm back. I'm alive still. Yay. So, anyway, let's get started. So, <clears throat> for for the first pull station, and this is on zone one, we have my Pyrotronics MS-51 pull station. It seems kind of a pain to reset sometimes, and it's definitely with one hand, so, yeah. So, and then here's the panel. Here's the inside. You got E-Time batteries, the board. And yeah, and I don't know... What, I can't figure out this own, this NAC2 trouble. You know I have a line of line resistor on it, but I can't figure it out, so. So, <clears throat> up here we have my, and this is a new, new um, device in my collection, we have my System Sensor i3. Pretty cool. I like the i3. It's a pretty nice detector, actually. So we'll be testing that out today. Over here, I have my Simplex 425121. Yeah, this is the one that has the more stiffer button in it. So, yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah. Now, here goes the fun parts, the alarms. Up here, I have my Wheelock AS. This is the Fix 1575 Wheelock AS because it's kind of by a wall right here. Yeah. And like I said, it's 15, no. 75 down there, 15 on this side, 15 on this side, but I don't know, I think it's still bright enough to light up that area. So, yeah. And these are only on NAC 1, because, you know, yeah. And then right over here, I have another Wheelock AS, only this one's fixed 110 Candela. See, I don't know if you can see it on the sticker right there. Yeah. So, yeah, that is pretty much the system. So, without further ado, Let's go ahead and let's activate the system. Start off with the power trying MS-51. Here we go. Yeah, those pain. This pull might be a pain reset, so it might. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna. I'll be right back while I go reset this. All right, this pull station's been reset. Actually, not all the way, but we'll go ahead and reset. I'm gonna have to acknowledge. Yeah. All right. I decided to disable NAC too because it's in the trouble right now. All right. Um. Let's go start off. Let's go ahead to the door. We'll go ahead and we'll pull down the 425121. I reset that while I'm here. Alright, and the last thing we gotta do is test out the i3. So I have to go up top of my or this El Camino. This is my stepdad's El Camino, but he's selling it, so go ahead and let's go activate the i3.
All right. So yeah, that is, that's the system. So, yep, what the wheel lock ASs, the i3, and the poles. So, they kind of actually wrap, so yeah, anyway, that does actually wrap this up for system test one. Um, system test two, we will still keep the same pole stations. Only I am going to be swapping out the notification appliances. From wheel, I'm going to swap out the AS, I'm going to put in the NS. And then that AS over there, I'm going to swap with the RSS over there, and that'll be on NAC2. So, yeah. So, that's the system. So, uh, anyway guys, I hope you all enjoyed this. Don't forget to give it a like. Um, don't forget to comment, and of course, subscribe to the channel.